Hello, adventurous travelers and friends, and welcome back to a Bragworthy Adventures video. I'm your host, Rose, and today we're shopping for shorts. Do you wish you could be a minimalist? Well, in this series, I'm going to show you how to stop wondering what if. What if you need those pants, or that shirt, or those 17 pairs of shoes, or that snorkel? No longer will you overpack because we are going to test out travel clothing and make sure we know the best products to bring on a Bragworthy adventure. So, I'm not wearing any pants right now. Just kidding. Yes, I am. But they're about to change. I've got four different shorts that I'm going to try on and see which one is bragworthy enough to come with me on my bragworthy adventure. If you don't know what that is, I've got a link above that you can click on to be introduced to what I'm saying when I say the word bragworthy adventure. Now, I've got five trials I'm going to take them through. First one is fit. Obviously, it has to fit and feel nice on my body. The second is movability. Can the clothing item move with me? Third thing is their dryability. How quickly will they dry? The fourth trial, how small do they pack? And with the packability, we've got trial number five, which is are they wrinkle resistant or wrinkle proof. So let's start with number one right now and I will try each one of these on and tell you how it feels on my body. So we have four shorts from three different companies. One company got two shorts entered into this little competition because um, aesthetic value. Toad & Co is all about environmentally and socially responsible clothing. They're on Amazon, that's where I bought these things. Um, they want to fit well and function well. So let's see if they're true to their call to arms. Um, and I've got two Toad & Co packages here. This one and this one. This is the Touchstone Camp Short and this one is the Sequoia 5 inch short. They look slightly different and hopefully one of them is brag worthy. Okay, so these are the Toad & Co camp shorts. They fit pretty nicely across the top. I actually, I have a little room, but I'm guessing I'll probably gain weight while traveling the world. <laughs> That's usually what happens. Um, but they seem to fit really nicely and they feel pretty good. They came up a little shorter than I thought they might. Um, and they're a little, a little gappy in the back, but perhaps it's just a sizing issue. I got the camp shorts in a 12. And I got the Sequoia shorts in a 10. So perhaps when I try Toad & Co's 10, I'll feel maybe a little differently because they definitely have a little gap in the back, but they fit around the thigh well and I don't see any sort of pulling at the crotch. So overall they feel nice. They're not like hugging my thigh, which is kind of nice because you don't always want to feel constricted. Um, and I think they look relatively good. I mean, they're kind of a basic short in a basic neutral color, so I'm not complaining. Let's go for the next short. The Sequoia short, it's in the size 10, so smaller than some of the other shorts I bought. Depended on availability that the brands had, as well as the fact that my body fluctuates between a 10 and a 12, which is always so fun. But it definitely feels more secure. We still have a little bit of gap above the booty, but not much. It sits relatively flat. Um, okay, the shorts look a little tight, so maybe I really am a 12. But uh, that's not Toad & Co's fault, that's my fault. But they definitely don't feel bad. They feel pretty good. They're just a little, definitely a little tighter than a 12. This is when I wish that companies would come up with an 11 instead of like 10 and then jump straight up to 12. But, other than being a little tight, these shorts feel pretty good. So let's see what else I've bought. I also have a short from Eddie Bauer. I always like Eddie Bauer's Travex line. I think it has clothes that move easily and don't wrinkle. They tend to have some SPF in them. It, I've just really enjoyed it in the past and I wanted to give them another go for my Bradworthy adventure. So let's see what these babies look like. These are the Horizon cargo shorts. Okay. These are the Eddie Bauer shorts, and already I like them better than the Toad and Coast. P 
purely based on fit. We still have all other things to work on, but that's because they feel a lot more lightweight. I don't think I realized when I had, you know, the Sequoia shorts on, but they definitely, they've got some thickness to them. Whereas this is a lot thinner, so it feels more lightweight, which, you know, when you're gonna be in some really hot areas in the world, you want a lightweight short. So I'm loving that. I'm loving that they're a little longer. I definitely feel a little more covered, which is what I like. Um, they feel like they fit really well. I don't have like a big gap here. It seems to sit across my body. It doesn't really pull much. I really like the Eddie Bauer short. And I always like that there's little extra pockets. So I'm, I'm feeling good about these. Those are the Eddie Bowers. The last pair of shorts that I have to try on in this little short shopping, bragworthy adventure competition are the Icebreaker. Merino wool is supposed to be really awesome for travelers. I actually just reviewed more Icebreaker uh, Merino wool items in a different video where I try undies, shirts, and some socks. If you wanna check that out, I'll have that linked up above. Um, but I wanted to keep the shorts for this video to really see how they compare to other uh, normal shorts. Or, Cause merino wool is a very specific type of fabric. It has to come from merino sheep, which originally were only in Spain. Now they're in New Zealand mostly and Australia. And the reason why merino wool is supposed to be so special is it's supposed to be uh, kind of stink proof. Like it doesn't, it doesn't hold on to smells. Um, and it's supposed to also be very durable. And so a lot of travelers live and breathe by merino wool. So we're gonna see how that uh, works in a short. Okay. So these are the icebreakers. Um, they don't have normal sizing. So I let the website guess what size they would be and I think it did a good job. So these are 30s. Which I guess maybe to some people is normal sizing, but not to me. Um, they fit really well. You know, they're tighter here, a little, a little looser here, but overall I think it's a pretty good fit. Um, a little longer, like I said, which is what I like. It's got the zippered pockets in the back, which is always nice too, because if you're going to keep something in your back pocket, you don't want it to fall out. I feel um, the merino wool is what's on the inside because that's where, you know, you sweat and the stinkiness comes from and it's more of the nylon on the outside so you can feel that lightweightness. It definitely feels more lightweight than the Tone & Co, not as lightweight and smooth as the Eddie Bauer. It has that very slight itchy quality that merino wool has. Not bad, but not great. So that is round one of this trial um and we will see round two i'm going to put them all on again individually and do like a very small yoga stretching i don't want to sweat in these in case they have to be returned but i do want to feel what it's like to move around in them so the first toad and co shorts because they were loose, they moved around a little more and they would move up and down as I moved and wouldn't stay in place, which meant they kind of rode up actually a little bit and made me feel more exposed than I wanted to be. So that was unfortunate. Uh, they definitely stretched, but they just weren't tight enough to keep from sliding around. Now the second pair of Toad & Co shorts is the opposite. They are tight since they're a smaller size. <laughs> And so they stayed right where they needed to be, but they were definitely a little stiff. They had stretch, but because of how tight they were, there were moments where I was worried about one of those SpongeBob rip my pants situations happening. And that's not exactly something you want to worry about on the daily. The Eddie Bauer shorts were a literal dream boat. I will let the rose in the moment explain this to you rather than voice over rose. I feel like I need to say this. This is not sponsored. None of this video is sponsored. None of my shopping series videos are sponsored. I'm literally just spending my own money to buy clothes to see if I like them for my trip. But now that I've said that, I really, really, really love Eddie Bauer. I mean, I knew I've tried them before for a previous trip and I liked them, but these 
I like hardly felt they were there. They may be a front runner right now. I don't wanna pick favorites before it's over, but like, if this is Dance Moms, they're on top of the pyramid. That's all I gotta say. I'm sorry, they're my Maddie right now. They're my Maddie. Don't get mad, they're my Maddie. I had such a hard time even figuring out what my opinion of these shorts even was in this moment. I felt like they stretched and moved, but I also felt like because there was so much fabric, it would ride up and then the extra fabric would be right in those areas where you're trying to stretch and would kind of impede your mobility a little bit. I wasn't sure what to think. I'm not a yogi. And now I'm warm because I just did the same routine four times. I'm gonna go on a run. And then I'll come back and I'll put some water on these babies and see how long it takes for them to dry. Got our shorts. I've got some more down lower two hanging up. And I'm going to use this dripping cloth of, it's wet. Um, it's literally dripping. Uh, and I'm going to get each one of these wet and start a timer and see how long it takes them to dry. So it is 9.54 and I will start right here at the bottom. I'm just gonna grab and squeeze. So I continued the same process for the first two shorts easily and ran into further difficulties with the second two pair. The Eddie Bowers were practically waterproof. As much as I tried and as hard as I squeezed that towel, the water did not want to go onto the shorts, it just wanted to drip down my arm, which was just oh so fun in the middle of my room. But you can see me struggling here, trying so hard, and finally just saying, eh, whatever. And then the same issue happens with the icebreakers. I was squeezing that cloth so hard that the water was dripping into my hand, and somehow it wasn't getting all that wet. I eventually got a small damp spot, but not as much as the Toad & Co shorts, which really took on water. And I will check in like 30-ish minutes, around 10.30, and see how they're okay. doing. It is 10.41. It's a little bit after 10.30. This definitely still feels wet, but it doesn't look as wet. This one looks wetter than it feels. <laughs> a little opposite of the other one. Definitely still damp on my hand though. Okay, and then... Eddie Bauer. I don't really feel any dampness. Um, okay, this one doesn't look damp at all, but I do feel a little dampness. Definitely much drier than the Toad & Co. Um, but the icebreaker is still a little damp. So we will give this another 30 minutes or so and check again. It's pretty much noon now. This is mostly dry. This one's all the way dry. This one's still dry. Nothing's changed there. And this one's dry. So it looks like the only part that didn't dry in just a couple hours was this guy. We are nearly done with our trials. This is the packing. I used a packing cube to see if I could fit all the shorts in one packing cube just to kind of have a defined space to put them in. I like to do the rolling method. Sometimes with shorts in bags, I'll keep them flat, but when you roll them, you can really see how thick they actually are. So like that first Toad & Co short and this one you'll see are kind of like little burritos from Chipotle. That would be the size I would call them. And then the Eddie Bauer, just because it's a thinner fabric, it did roll, I think, a little smaller. We'll wait and then we'll see. Roll that up. Yeah, it's a, it's a little smaller, more like a Taco Bell burrito, uh, and a little longer. And then finally, the icebreakers. We did the same method for all shorts that it could be similarly compared. And the icebreakers were also, you know, pretty thin. They did have a lot of length because the fabric has a lot of length. We're back! Two days later, the clothing has been packed and kept in an away suitcase in its little bag. And here it is. So let's take these shorts out and see how wrinkly or not they got. But here we go. Now clearly we've got some wrinkles. 
They're not bad though, honestly, for shorts. I feel like they'll show off as wrinkly if I put them back on, but they definitely got wrinkly. See, this is way different. So when I wear it, the only wrinkles you see are the ones that are stretched from my crotch. You don't see any of those wrinkles that we were noticing here or there or in the back. So even though it might look wrinkly out of the bag because of the way it stretches over my body, it's not actually wrinkly. Let's see what the sister pair shorts, the Sequoia shorts look like after a couple days of being packed. Okay, here we go. Yeah, they're very similar. They're all kind of wrinkly right along the middle, which isn't great. Uh, I definitely don't think they're wrinkle proof. <laughs> here we see a little bit of a wrinkle right here. I don't know if it's translating on camera, but I definitely see like one here, but because how it stretches, you're not really gonna notice a bunch of wrinkles on the Sequoia short. Let's see, I think the Eddie Bauer say they're supposed to be more wrinkle proof. Let's see if that's true. I'm starting to doubt it just from rolling it out. Oh dang, yeah. Those are definitely wrinkly. You can even see like the crease from where it was folded. Yikes. Oh, this is so frustrating. I want them not to be wrinkly so that I can trust that they'll turn out well in my bag. Okay, okay. Wow, this isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Now, it does still have a little wrinkly, especially on the edge. Um, but when I stick my leg out, it doesn't, and when I let it lay flat, it kind of does, but it's really not as bad as it looked when I first pulled it out of the bag. That's... And honestly, you know, the wrinkles that are noticeable are the ones at the bottom, which, like, I think I mentioned, sometimes I use a hair straightener, and I'll take the hair straightener and I'll put it under an edge if the wrinkles are close to the edge, and I'll just sort of swipe it across the edge, because... It's a flat iron, right? It's a type of iron. It counts. I do that when I'm traveling sometimes. So I definitely think these are still workable. Not as bad as they looked when I first pulled them out. And here we go. Another one. The icebreaker one. And it is likewise incredibly wrinkly. This one's probably the wrinkliest out of all of them. The icebreakers, they definitely are similar to the Eddie Bowers where they're not as tight, especially on the bottom. So you can kind of see wrinkles um but i think you see the wrinkles maybe a little bit worse than on the eddie bowers maybe that's because the color um i'm not quite sure but it's more like wrinkles all across this area but here up where my thighs are a little thicker you don't notice as bad so that is a review of the wrinkle ability or the ability to be wrinkle free for these shorts and I guess we're at the point where I've got to pick a short. Okay, did you guess it? Did you guess the Addy Bowers? Because those are my winners. And let me tell you why. So, no shame to any of the players in this game, this round of our travel clothing series, but these ones won for multiple reasons. You know you've got a winner when you like them so much you want them in multiple colors. And I honestly think that's what I might do. I might go back and buy these again in the navy because I thought these shorts were great. My only issue is the color comes across more green than gray, but I feel like the fit was great. I loved the looseness on the bottom of the leg. It was completely tight and constricting. They moved easily they dry or were almost completely water resistant i just thought they did a great job and i am really excited to take these with me on my ride with the adventure so if you're looking for some travel shorts i hope that you received the feedback you were looking for in this video and that you were able to see how these shorts reacted throughout various circumstances that you may come across on your trip um, and I would highly recommend Eddie Bauer shorts. I'll put a link for all these shorts in the description below. And let me know if there's another tra uh, travel clothing brand I need to test out. So I appreciate you watching. I hope you had a good time. If you like these travel series, you like me trying out these different clothing, or you're just interested in my Bragg Worthy adventure, please subscribe. And as always, 
Bye, travelers.